very first thing is what is science? So science is a way of or approach adopts for acquisition of knowledge in search of truth. So science is nothing else but just a way or approach adopted for the acquisition of knowledge in search of truth. So truth ki search ke, ke dauraan, jo knowledge hum acquire karte hai, usko acquire karne ka ek tarika, ek approach jo hai, wo science hota hai. ठीक है नाउ साइंस इज बोथ द प्रोसेस एज वेल एज द द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दैट प्रोसेस तो साइंस क्या होता है प्रोसेस भी होता है और साथ ही उस प्रोसेस का एक प्रोडक्ट भी होता है ठीक है तो प्रोसेस के फॉर्म में यह क्या बताता है इट सजेस्ट इट सजेस्ट द वेज एंड मींस ऑफ एक्सप्लोरिंग द ट्रूथ and its a product form it's it presents a systematic and organized body of useful language theek hai to science dekho science kya hai science ek aisa tarika hai jiske istemal ke dwara hum knowledge ko acquire karte hain science ko hum process aur product dono mante hain तो एज ए प्रोसेस साइंस क्या बताता है कि हम किस तरीके से कोई काम करेंगे एज ए प्रोडक्ट साइंस क्या बताता है कि हमें फाइनली रिजल्ट के रूप में क्या मिला तो जो सिस्टमेटिक एंड ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बॉडी ऑफ यूजफुल नॉलेज है वह क्या है हमारा ठीक है जो प्रोसेस फॉर्म है साइंस का वह प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म से कहीं ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है द प्रोसेस फॉर्म ऑफ साइंस इज ऑलवेज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट Then the a product form, ठीक है ध्यान में रखिएगा, ठीक है? Science के माध्यम से हम लगातार सच की खोज प्रूफ की खोज करते रहते हैं, ठीक है? अब प्रश्न ये उठता है कि scientific method क्या है? प्रश्न क्या उठता है कि scientific method किसे कहते हैं? So what is called a scientific method? It is the method adopted by sciences for the acquisition of knowledge, exploring truth, and solving problems, right? So scientific method is nothing but the method adopted by sciences for acquisition of knowledge, acquiring truth, and solving of problems. It is also defined as the principles and procedures for the systematic pursuit of knowledge involving the recognition and formulation of a problem, the collection of data through observation and experiment, and the formulation and testing of hypothesis. So basically, science can be uh, scientific method can be defined in different ways. But all those different ways have a common ground that science is a way of acquiring knowledge. Similarly, the scientific methods are those methods which are used to acquire the knowledge. Is it clear? So by the process of scientific method, we collect the empirical evidences and observation of experimental result and in the process test opinion and expression through the logical consideration of a stable conclusion. So scientific method is nothing else but just a way of acquiring knowledge, a way of collecting the da data, a way of observing the things that is called the scientific method. We can define it as an approach or method used for uh, discovering the facts and solving the problems by employing a series of logical, objective, and systematic steps. A prasne utta hai scientific method ke कौन कौन से कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स होते हैं देयर आर सिक्स बेसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ साइंटिफिक मेथड देयर आर सिक्स बेसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ साइंटिफिक मेथड एंड दोस आर ऑब्जेक्टिविटी द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ साइंटिफिक मेथड इज ऑब्जेक्टिविटी द सेकंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज डेफिनेटनेस इट मस्ट बी डेफिनेट third one is verifiable it must be verifiable 
then it must be it must show generality then a uh, predictability and then finally dynamicity कोई जो साइंटिफिक मेथड होता है उसे कुछ सर्टेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक होते हैं सबसे पहला पर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक क्या है इट मस्ट बी ऑब्जेक्टिव इट मींस इट मस्ट बी फ्री फ्रॉम बायसेस प्रेजुडिस एंड सब्जेक्टिविटी द सेकंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज डेफिनेटनेस सो इट मस्ट नॉट बी वेग इट मस्ट बी वेरी क्लियर वेरी एक्यूरेट वेरी एग्जैक्ट सो इट मस्ट बी प्लान सिस्टमेटिक एंड एक्यूरेट एंड दैट्स व्हाई इट इज डेफिनेट third one is verifiability it means it must be verifiable it must it uh, is able to we can test it we can verify it by different means right by using the observation test or experiment then only it will be called a scientific method generality it means the result or conclusion derived from the scientific method so a mark characteristic of generality it means those things the results can be generalized for the masses next one is uh, predictability it means it can be used to uh, predict the future it means it can be used to predict what will happen in the future next one is modifiability and dynamicity so the last one is a uh, dynamicity it must be dynamic it means it should change itself as per the situation as per the requirement now the sabse most important thing is that what are the different steps in scientific method the for very first step is encountering problems asking questions second one is understanding the problem through background research third one is hypothesis formulation fourth one is testing of hypothesis with experiment fifth one is deriving inference sixth one is generalizing of the accepted hypothesis so these are the six steps in scientific method isme se kis step ke bare mein kuch puchna hai isme se kis step ke bare mein kuch puchna hai check karo abhi jo jo kuch page pe hai usme kuch puchna hai to batao जो कुछ भी पेज पे थोड़ा सा और आगे व्हाट आर रिलेटेड टू रिसर्च फर्स्ट वन इज साइंटिफिक फैक्ट साइंटिफिक फैक्ट इज द फैक्ट डिराइव फ्रॉम द ऑथेंटिक एंड रिलायबल सोर्सेज यूजिंग साइंटिफिक मेथड सो फैक्ट विच इज डिराइव from the authentic and reliable sources by using the scientific method are called scientific facts right what are the concepts concepts are generalized meaning of things person or events observed and experienced so concepts can be defined as the generalized meaning of the things person or events observed and experienced next one is construct now what is construct construct is nothing but an idea image or some hypothetical structure resulting from one's mental synthesis so construct is something which is based on the individual's mental synthesis of the things or the person or the events right so an idea image or some hypothetical structure resulting from one's mental synthesis is called a construct next one is variable you know about that then assumptions then there are assumptions acha variable kitne tarah ke hote hain iski ek class alag se karni padegi theek hai chalo variables kitne tarah ke hote hain ek class mein aur next class mein kar lenge next one is assumptions assumptions are the belief that a researcher has about the people places objects or events working as a subject means or influencing factor in his research study 
So assumption is nothing but the belief that a researcher has about the people, places, objects, or events working as a subject means or influencing factors in his research study. Okay. The assumptions can be classified as uh, in two different ways: a priori, post priori. So, a priori assumptions are those which are which are usually considered as facts, which are usually considered as facts, and they require no attending proofs. It means these are not amenable to empirical testing. For example, our God is there. The schools exist for giving education to their students. And as the time passes, a child grows into adolescent and youth, etc. may be cited as a few examples of a priori assumption. So a priori assumption is nothing but uh, the presumed facts or beliefs in the society. Whereas Whereas the post priori means something which is bound to happen, something which is bound to happen, right? Just a very good statement here: spare the rod and spoil the child. Bachcho ko daatna chhod do, bachche bachche bhi kya jayenge? सही बात है बच्चों अगर कंट्रोल नहीं करोगे तो बच्चे बिगड़ जाएंगे तो अगर बच्चों पे कंट्रोल हटा लिया जाए तो बच्चों को बिगड़ने के हंड्रेड टेन परसेंट चांसेस हैं तो जब हम चीजों को जानते हैं कि एक चीज होने वाली है चीज आगे पॉसिबल है ठीक है तो उसको हम क्या कहते हैं पोस्ट प्रायरी कहते हैं और जब पहले से हमारे मन में किसी चीज के बारे में कोई भाव या विचार होता है तो उसे अप्रायरी कहते हैं देन देर इज पॉस्टुलेट देन देर इज एग्जाम्स सो एन एग्जाम इज a common opinion or notion known as common sense understanding about the things persons processes or events required for further learning about them so basically axioms are the common opinion or notions about something a propositions the proposition is a de declarative statement dhyan rakhiyega the uh, uh, propositions are a declarative statements about some subject event process or phenomena left open for its acceptance or rejection after the necessary scrutiny then there is hypothesis models paradigm laws and theories so baki sab already hum log kar chuke hain theek hai so mujhe lagta hai ki aaj ki class ko hame isi point pe rokna chahiye aur kal fir kal thoda pehle class start karne ki koshish karunga kal main start karne ki koshish karunga 8 baje theek hai चलिए फिर आज की क्लास को रोकते हैं फिर मिलते हैं कल की क्लास में गुड नाइट